Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang. This video will be the start of video series that focus on resin 3D printer support because there are so many object shape and sizes and you cannot use the same settings for all. You have to be able to adapt your support to all the different objects. And my focus will be manual support. So if you expect to see auto support, sorry to disappoint you. Simply sharing support setting for auto support may not work if you do not understand the basic. Because manual support is the most basic and a good understanding of how to do manual support can help you further. I will try to keep the video short and informative, but if you want to watch the long uncut version, you can check my Patreon. And in this first video, it's about support settings. I will be using Cheetahbox because I like the support setting options. And if you use other slicer, you could adapt the setting to your slicer. First, let's get to know the shortcut key. You could press tab here to have a quick scroll on your support profile. And then you could press A to add support. You could press E to adjust the support, the position, the height. And then you could pull it around. This is entirely to edit your support. And then you could press D, left click, and then D again to delete. And then you also could press D, select several, and then D again to delete them. Now let us get into the support profile. But first, this here is kind of annoying, so I prefer to close it. And on Cheetah Box default, we have heavy, middle, and then light. I have five preset profiles, so I will add new support profile and it will show up at the top here. The first four, I already set it. So let us set the big daddy. You could double click if you want to change the name, but on the default, you cannot change the name. The Z leaf height, I prefer at four millimeters. And this is the basic. The default for Cheetah Box support profile, I will change the contact shape to sphere, contact diameter 0 0.6, and contact depth 0 0.3 millimeters. So it will look like this. And at the top here, see? And for the connection shape, I prefer to use pyramid. And then for upper diameter, I prefer 0 0.48. And the lower diameter, 0 0.8 millimeters. Sorry, I forgot to change this. 0 0.3. And this area here will be our breaking point to minimize the damage on the object surface. Let's continue to the middle settings. The shape I prefer prism. This is prism. This is the base, the normal, the default cylinder. And this is the cube. The upper diameter, one millimeter. Lower also one millimeter. And then the small pillar shape, it will be sphere. The diameter will be the same as this contact shape here, 0 0.6, upper depth, lower depth is also half of the diameter. This is the small pillar. And now for the bottom, I prefer to use prism. You could look, this is the shape of the prism for the bottom. But you could also use cylinder, so I prefer to use prism. The touch diameter will be 6 millimeter. The thickness, my settings will be at 0 0.3. I prefer to don't use rough because it is only a waste of resin. But in this case here, the center here do not have any supports at all. If I pull it down, This area here will be accidental suction cup. 
So no wonder people would need a very high bottom exposure or if your bottom thickness is very thick, you will have a problem for your object to stick to your plate. So in this case, I prefer to use rough. This way, we do not have any suction cup at all. Now let's look at its settings for the support top. On Big Daddy, it looks like this. Super heavy at 0 0.4. Heavy at 0 0.3. Middle at 0 0.2 and then light at 0 0.1. Actually, when you are consulting with me about your support, is it is easier to set the support top size rather than set something like heavy, middle, light, big daddy, or super heavy because your settings may not be the same with mine. And then for the middle, I keep all the settings on all sides the same. The support all I will keep at one millimeter. This is where why my settings will not work with auto support because I will adjust the size of the middle here. Let's say this is at 1.5 and then 1.5. See, it is bigger. It depends on the object shape and size. So Usually, I would only use around 1 millimeters, 1.2 or 1.5 millimeters. The biggest I ever use only at 1.5 millimeters. And the same with the bottom. I will keep everything at the same settings and I never change the bottom settings at all, no matter how big or small the object. So for Big Daddy support, this is usually for the likes of a very big object that could fill the entire build plate of let's say medium printer like Mighty 4K or Mighty 8K or even Mega 8K. And usually I could use the entire object with the same settings with only Big Daddy. And then for Super Heavy with the tip size of 0.4 millimeters and then the upper diameter 0 0.38 millimeters. This is usually I would use for anchor for most of the models. Yes, mostly this is the size that I would use as anchor. And then heavy, this is to additional supports on any small islands. And then for middle, this is to support small islands detail or maybe some part only to keep stabilize them. And then light for a very small and intricate details. But please keep in mind, this is not a set rules because sometimes for a very big object, I would still also use 0 0.1s. And that is why I always said to people that consult with me, there is no one best settings for all when it comes to resin printing. You have to be able to adapt depends on the object shape and size and also the printers. And this is a quick comparison for the manual support on the left. And on the right here, auto support. You could tell the difference. You, you are going to have a lot of damaged surface over here compared to this clean, smooth, and minimum contact. Let's have a look at this support. A quick explanation. At the surrounding edge of the sandals here, surrounding edge here, I give it a 0 0.4 millimeter support and I use one, two, and then three big support at 0 0.6 millimeters. For this area here, I use 0 0.3 millimeter support. It will give a very minimum damage and here, 
at 0 0.2 millimeters to stabilize this island here before it connect to the main part here there is a very small overhang here so i decide to use small pillar i use three of them to secure this island here and you have this support object with minimum supports also when it comes to support it is the combination of how you calibrate your printer from leveling exposure deciding orientation hollow drain hole and support so yeah i will upload plenty of video about supporting different objects hopefully one of the video can help you see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching thank you ching Yan mostly lychee slicer chris fulton Gao Gaigar, Don Leahy, Tejeda, Billy Dobson, and Dirk F for becoming my patron.